Welcome to Crochet ADHD. I'm your host, Jackie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I consider you a one-hit wonder. I'm glad you're here. If you are a repeat offender, a member of the Glam Fam, is it live or is it Memorex? Okay, okay. So here's my little rant while I'm thinking about um, uh, Florida Stitched. On her um, Instagram, she has shown this shirt. Now, I'm saying this shirt. I'm not showing a picture of this shirt. I'm just saying this shirt. I have seen so many knitters going crazy for this shirt and I don't understand it because some of the things that I hear people complain about crochet is that, oh, it's too holy. But these knitters are going nuts for a pattern called look at my holes. What? They are knitting holes. <laughs> I, okay, and I have seen, I've seen a few of these modeled. I'm like, are you serious? Just because you can do a thing does not mean you should. Kudos to the designer. I... I I don't get it. Again, especially when the complaint I, I've heard for years about crochet is that it's too holy. So <laughs> it's different. Darling, it's different when you knit the holes as opposed to crocheting the holes. Make it make sense, people. Make it make sense. <sighs> so far, I have not seen any of my I, I don't get it. That's all I'm gonna I'm gonna say. I I don't get it because I mean, just crochet. If you want holes, if you want holes, just crochet. You know what I mean? Because I can I can't because I don't knit and I have not looked closely at the pattern. I don't, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand and I don't get it. And I don't get it and I don't understand. It's not making any sense. Why, why, why? And, and it's not. You like my mug? I decorated it myself. Here's what I did. I took a big bowl of water and some black nail polish and some, what is that, teal and gray nail polish and I poured it into the container of water and then I dunked this into it. And when I took it out, aside from Burt Macklin, it all stuck. Now, it's starting to peel off, but I did this like four years ago. I highly recommend it. It's very, it's very interesting. I have something else that I did that with too, but I, I don't see it right now. Yeah. Anyway, look at my holes. I, I, I just, I don't get it. I mean, if, it would be a pretty, it would be a pretty shawl. Mm -mm. Cause it's, because it's not quite like filet crochet it I mean it's they're like they're holes but oh a better idea you know the rings that hold the six pack of sodas together right you just like crochet a couple of those together look at my hole <laughs> you know I gotta slap a disclaimer on here right I personally don't understand it. Kudos to anybody that wants to make it. It just doesn't make sense to me. That's my disclaimer. But at the same time, I'm kind of picturing crocheting some of those soda rings together. 
maybe maybe it's just I'm not a trendy like a trendy maker like I don't rush out to make something just because it's trendy um like I I might show up for a trend six months after everybody else has done it I, I don't know I I can think I can only think of one pattern that I was so excited to get my hands on that like the pattern was released at we'll say like 10 o'clock on a Thursday and by 10.05 it was in my inbox but you know I don't really count that as be but it's a but but it was for a vest that is cabled and therefore classic so even at that it wasn't trendy because it's a classic piece I can't see people six months, a year from now going, ooh, I can't wait to re-wear my, look at my whole, I, I feel like those are going to be, there's going to be a whole bunch of them donated or gifted to, I don't know, people. I, I just don't see that one being a long-term uh, wardrobe staple. You know what I, you know what I mean? I mean like I'm saying all this while I'm sitting in front of a 1980s uh sweater pattern, but the pattern is 40 years old. Well, okay, not quite. It's 36 years old. But look how good it looks. If nothing else, people are going to want to wear it to like 80s parties or fiber festivals or grocery shopping or the movies the colors okay think about it. if this was made in all like um muted tones ooh, like if it was like all browns like or different shades of you know like greens See, that would not make it, or that would make it look less 1980s. So it's still classic. And you could also make it without the design on it. The shell of the top is still classic if you like a boat neck. I like a boat neck. If I can figure out how to hack the boat neck part of it to where it's more of a traditional, I don't know what the word is, but, you know, a non-boat neck neckline. Oh, possibilities are endless if you like making bottom up. I'm actually hurting myself quite a bit using my left arm. That's why I wear my sling, because even though I am right-handed, my left arm gets a lot of exercise and it hurts. I'll have to tell editing Jackie about this. <sighs> Louisiana and New... Okay, let me tell you. Remember I told you about that blanket that I made on that trip that my family went on when we moved from uh, Louisiana to Michigan? We drove the whole way, right? And we stopped at a restaurant in Ohio. I will never forget this. We stopped in Ohio in a, at a restaurant. It wasn't like a chain restaurant. It was just a mom and pop kind of place for breakfast. And we tried to order grits. I have lived in many, many countries in my life. I've lived in many places. Now that I'm thinking about it, most of the places in the, in, in the United States that I've lived was in the South. So this might be it. But when you take Southerners out of the South and you put them up North for a little while, asking for grits in a restaurant, I really thought grits were like an international thing or at least national. They had no idea. They were like, well, we have, oh, what did they offer me? It wasn't porridge. I think, I think they offered oatmeal, but this was something, no, cream of wheat.
three hours later. So the idea of having to go from Louisiana up to New York, upstate New York, like, okay, we're, we're talking almost Canada, New York. Yes, I realize it's not quite that close, but mm, I wouldn't even know how to order food. Oh my God, I'm a southerner. I'm a southerner, y'all. No, 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 y'all. Oh my God, I'm a southerner. The next day. I never considered myself a Southern. Look, I live in Louisiana, right? And that's not my fault. That's my husband's fault. I grew up in the military and we were moving places every two to three years. Clockwork. Once my dad retired, he retired in Michigan the same year I graduated from high school. We moved back here and I was like, that's crazy. I don't want to do that, but I did anyway. And then almost a year later, yeah, I got married and moved a little over a year later. I got married and I moved to Germany because I married a military man. We were in Germany for three years, and then we moved to Texas. And when we moved to Texas, I divorced him. And then I ended up in Louisiana, and I have been here ever since, and that's been since 1998. I've been in this state condition since 1998 that means that simple simply because of geography I am a southerner I need somebody from like North Dakota to adopt me I just what was I talking about uh, what else was I, I was gonna say something else Maybe this is what I was going to say. If you like this video, please like this video. Share, comment below. Let's see. Okay. If you want to stick around and become a member of the Glam Fam, by all means, click that notification bar. Wait. No. Click that subscription button. What am I saying? Is that right? What? Hang on. If you want to stick around and become a member of the Glam Fam, you can do so by clicking that subscribe button. <laughs> Until next time, I've been Jackie.